Hi folks, um, this video will cover the final three assignments, uh, so we've got to cover a lot of territory, uh, but I'll try to keep this as short as possible. Um, so we have three, uh, three assignments coming um, in the next few weeks, the topic proposal, the presentation, and the final research paper. Um, we should start with the final research paper because the topic proposal and the presentation are basically focused on the topic of your final research paper. Um, so let's start here, the final essay of the semester, which is due um, August 3rd on a Monday at 11.59 p.m. as usual. Um, and essentially this is, this is the, uh, the, the capstone um, of the uh, semester, and it should be argumentative in nature and researched. Um, so um, what I want you to do is find an issue, a topic that you feel interested in, if not passionate about. Um, and, there are, and it should have a connection to the African continent in some way. And there are ways to do this um, if you really think seriously about your interests. Like, for example, I've had a student in the past, a hunter, um, who enjoyed hunting and um, decided he would write a paper, his, his research essay on um, trophy hunting in Africa. And it turned out to be a really fascinating essay. And actually, I learned quite a bit from uh, reading his essay. Um, so if you have those particular interests, um, think, think first in terms of what you're interested in or passionate about and try to find that connection to the African continent. Um, there are sample essays of students who've uh, done successful um, uh, research papers in the past and I'll provide links uh, later. Um, so here I, I, um, I'm, I provide an example of uh, peanut farming in Senegal and how the French forced the Senegalese people to um, farm peanuts um, because it was in high demand in Europe and on the slave ships. Um, uh, the result, though, was that uh, once the Senegalese people gained independence, they really couldn't switch back to any other form of agriculture because uh, of the, the nature of peanut farming it depletes the soil. And so they were dependent on this and it became what was called a monoculture um, and created this dependency. But of course, when you have fluctuations in prices and or you have droughts and famines, then that dependency becomes uh, a liability in, 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 in essence. Um, so that's a, that's just a possibility. So you could offer um, a solution if you want to uh, or just point out the problem. It doesn't matter to me um, how, how you approach the the this topic. Um, it is worth 200 points. Um, it is the, the major assignment of the semester, so it's 20% of your final grade. There's some information about uh, your task here, um, and um, the primary things you should need to be concerned about, it should be six pa around six pages. Um, it should incorporate a minimum of five sources, credible sources, um, and it's, as I say here, interviews and polls are allowed provided that they are credible. So don't interview your grandfather because, you know, maybe he was in Senegal for six months or something. Uh, that may not be a credible source of information. Um, the due date is, for the final is uh, Monday, August 3rd, uh, but the previous week we'll be doing uh, the rough draft workshop on this. All right. That is the final research paper. If you have questions about that, of course, at the end of this video, I'm going to ask you to type in questions or comments for clarification, and, and I'll respond as soon as possible. Um, so let's go to the topic proposal, which is the next assignment. Um, it is uh, the fifth assignment of the semester. Um, and it is a very pretty short assignment, it is still worth 100 points, but um, essentially what you're doing is you're, you're writing a proposal for the topic that you're going to write about for the final research paper. Uh, so that document we just went over, you're going to pick a topic for that paper, and you're going to write up a, a, a fairly formal proposal, and it shouldn't be too long. Um, I'm looking at about two pages, a paragraph for each of these sections. Um, so it's important, I, I list... Um, Senegal here again as an example. Um, this is worth 100 points due July 19th, but you should basically follow the, you should have these four um, segments, four paragraphs in your essay. The first one is, um, is what is your research question? And uh, what, what, what essentially is gonna be the topic of your essay? And you should be able to say, state that in a clear, uh, in a clear sentence, uh, well-written sentence. 
Um, and then in that same paragraph, discuss what you already know about this issue and what previous experience or knowledge can you bring to this project. Now, just because it's connected to the African continent doesn't mean you don't have personal experience. Uh, the hunter, for example, the student who wrote about trophy hunting, he was a hunter and he wrote about his experiences hunting, his, his, his code of, uh, and, and, and his morals and ethics surrounding hunting, um, and some of his previous hunting experience um, before he launched into, into this, the, the topic of trophy hunting. Um, as I say here, uh, you know, if you wanted to write about the coffee industry, um, if you're a coffee drinker or coffee snob, that's relevant to, to a certain extent. Um, you can even bring in personal experience of your ignorance on a topic. So if you're a coffee drinker and you didn't realize that there were problems uh, in Ethiopia, for example, that farmers weren't getting enough for their product, then that's something you can play into uh, that you, you know, you've been drinking coffee for so many years and never thought about where the coffee came from and uh, um, any problems associated with that. Your second paragraph um, should be just essentially a list of five to seven questions. That's it. You don't have to have any kind of introduction to it. Uh, just to start your paragraph with those five to seven questions. Um, and it should be written in, in a question format. Uh, what do you need to know about this particular topic? What do you need to find out um, in order to do your uh, research uh, effectively, in order to answer your research question effectively in, in paragraph one? Uh, the third section is how do you plan on investigating? So what kind of sources will you do you think you'll be looking into? Um, and if you can be specific here, that would be quite helpful, uh, especially for you. Um, so you probably want to do some preliminary research on this topic and identify some of the important sources of information on your topic um, and list them here. Um, will you interview anybody? Uh, which newspapers or journals will you be looking into? Um, so try to be as specific as possible. And then finally, why does this topic matter? Why should uh, any general reader want to read about this particular topic? So if it's on uh, trophy hunting, um, what, you know, maybe you're, you're, you're going to say um, that there are myths and misconceptions about trophy hunting that you, the general audience, should know about uh, because you've been hearing about it a lot, primarily through social media. Um, so figure out who your audience is and why that topic should matter to your audience. Um, the, this will be due July 19th. I believe that's a Sunday. It should be. Um, and there is a, there will be a rubric, uh, provided in, there is a rubric provided in, um, in D2L. Um, and then finally we have the presentation, uh, which is the fifth assignment. And this is not a written assignment. This is a, a, a essentially a PowerPoint presentation. Um, that you will, uh, it's a visual representation of your final research paper. So um, having done the topic proposal, you should have done some preliminary research and sort of gotten some information together. And so I want you to pull together uh, a presentation of about four to five slides um, and um, that um, illustrate what it is you're going to be um, um, talking about in your final research paper. So hopefully this will be, you know, Doing the topic proposal and the presentation gets you prepared very, um, very well for the, uh, situates you very well for the, for the final research paper. And you'll be generating information and research material for both of these projects. Um, you should, uh, since, since you're, this is not a face-to-face -face class, you're going to be required to do a recording of your presentation. And there is an app uh, available to you in D2L called Yuja. Um, it's new. If you, we'll, we'll go ahead and look at it here. If you go to FRCC resources up here, you will see video tool Yuja. And if you click on that, I've already have it downloaded. I think you'll have to download it to your own computer, um, the application, but it will give you that, that uh, option here as soon as it loads. Of course, it's going to buffer. Um, yep, there it is. Um, I already have it downloaded. So if you click on create recording, I think it's going to ask you to, if you want to download it and you, you go ahead and download it. And then, but if you do click on create recording, um, and start, I don't want to start it because it'll bring up another, uh, video like the screencast o here. 
uh, you should be able to uh, figure out fairly easily how to create that uh, video. So you want to have your presentation ready and available on your um, on your screen uh, so that Yuja captures that as well as uh, um, as a video of you. But you don't have to necessarily have to have your face uh, in the presentation. You can just have a voice recording um, if you want. Uh, if you have trouble with uh, Yuja or can't figure it out, go up here to Tech Support and uh, either Help Desk um, or, yeah, I would go to Help Desk first. But, yeah, there are options there for you to, to get help with uh, figuring out Yuja. But, it, it, like I said, if you're pretty fairly tech savvy, you you're taking an online course, you should be able to figure it out. It's not that difficult. And then once you're done recording your presentation, submit it to the presentation folders. In, in assignments here. Um, that's about it, folks. Uh, I know that was a lot of information in 10 minutes time, 11 minutes time. Um, but if you do have questions or need something clarified, feel free to, to write uh, those questions or comments in the box below, and I'll get to them as soon as possible. All right. Well, we're getting down to the final stretch. So uh, good luck with all these, the rest of your assignments. Thank you.